Okay, it's that time of the show. We call it Around the Movie Block with the Rock. The weekly movie review with yes. Rocco. Thank you very much, Howie. Uh, the movie I have for you this week is called Gemini Man. It's directed by Ang Lee and it stars the original Fresh Prince. Shout out to uh, my cameraman for the segment, uh, Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith plays Henry Brogan, who is an over-the-hell hitman who faces off against a younger clone of himself. Um, as we've known for several years, Will Smith, the, the constant about Will Smith is the fact that he does movies that are consistently very good ideas. And, you know, when I first saw the trailer for this movie, I thought, wow, this is a good idea. I mean, to uh, count on Will Smith to always come up with interesting ideas for, you know, his you know, big screen action projects, and this definitely is a good idea. Um, the only thing is a good idea can only take you so far. With, you know, yes, this is a good idea, the idea of um, this new technology we've had for a good couple of years, it's a, a technology with CGI that enables you to look way younger than you normally do, and, um, the thing with this particular movie is it's really cool to see this because you know you basically see Will Smith face off against a younger version of himself. And the special effects of this, you know, the CGI, it really does look like like he really does look like he's facing a younger version of himself, and it's really, really cool. However, the star power of Will Smith plus that kind of cool novelty aspect of that only takes a movie so far. And um, Unfortunately, the problem with this movie is the script. We've seen this kind of plot in a lot of movies, particularly from 90s movies. Um, unfortunately, on the top of that, it's as subtle as a sledgehammer. The movie takes itself so literally that you really don't feel like it has like a sense of depth or a sense of distinction or feeling like, you know, yes, the movie's entertaining, Will Smith is really, really good in it, he, he definitely has that star power still at the age of 51, but the problem is, is that it's, you know, the, the kind of, the plot of this movie is very cookie cutter. We've seen this in a lot of action movies in the past, and regardless of how smart he makes his movies, and he always makes movies that are really, really smart, you know, you have to have movies that are distinct, you know, because we've seen, you know, you can only replicate a formula so many different times, so unfortunately, with that, you know, I mean, regardless of, of every other um, attribute of this movie, it kind of, you know, subtracts from the overall enjoyment of, you know, the whole of the movie rather than the sum of its parts. The other aspect of the movie that will off-put a lot of people, on paper, it's a really cool idea. Um, the director, anyway, he's done several movies in the last couple of years where he's employed a style of filmmaking where he shoots with a faster frame rate of film than we're used to seeing in movies. Usually in film, a frame rate is basically 25 frames per second. I know this is going to sound really technical, so I'm going to try to explain this as much in lay terms as humanly possible. Um, when you do shoot at 25 frames a second, it has like a kind of quality that makes you feel like you've escaped. You know? Basically, it has like a kind of otherworldly feel. But if we were to shoot at a faster frame rate, the it looks a little too what I would call stagey, and I would even say soap opera-esque. That's actually what Tom Cruise has described this kind of process in, in an article. He has described this as soap opera-esque. So I will give you an example of how this works. As you can see right now, the frame rate of our footage right now is actually at a faster rate. This is actually twice the amount of rate. I'm on, we shoot this with an iPhone. So the iPhone employs the capabilities of shooting at double the frame rate. This is 60 frames per second. It's not quite the frame rate of Gemini Man. It's at 100. But I'm giving you this as an empirical example of, of the differences that I noticed in this movie. You know, the, the, it looks more, like I said, it looks more stagey and it looks more like what you would see in a soap opera. Right, but you guys so. don't have enough of that. Um, so basically, I mean, that looked a little off-putting to you, like that, the way that looks. It looks kind of like it, like a bit out of place for a movie. Usually we're we used to seeing movies at a slower frame rate, which makes it feel more like you're in another world. You don't really get that with, with a frame rate that fast, and that's sort of the glaring, you know, off-putting aspects of this movie on top of, you know, the script and all that. So unfortunately, overall, the, uh, this movie 
you know, as much as like I feel like Will Smith always tries to do innovative ideas when it comes to movies, unfortunately, like I said, an idea is not it only is only good enough when you have a you know you have a you know a movie that is distinct enough and um, you know it has that kind of level of you know what have I seen before? Like I said, the, the special effects and the, the the frame rate of the film is a novelty, but it's a, it's a shallow novelty. You know, you want things with characters that, you know, are interesting. You want a movie that's going to stay with you. And this movie doesn't really stay with you. It's, it's entertaining, it's fun, it's a great way to kill two hours. But unfortunately, you know, it's a very shallow experience, you know, overall. So with that, I have to give Gemini Man two out of five stars. So thank you. Okay, great job, Rocco.